Hey what's up guys my name is Dhruval Modi and welcome to another Photoshop video tutorial and this tutorial is going to be about dramatic lighting and I did this tutorial because I had quite a few requests and I personally love this effect so this is the original one and this is the output we are going to do but we are, I'm also gonna show you like two different versions of this image this one and also this one the realistic one so let's get started okay so we are inside photoshop and this is the original image and this is the final output that we are going to create and i have this image already open here and i'm also going to use the sky image uh, for the background you can see here which is totally white so i'm gonna use this image and here and the sky is like way too big so i'm gonna press ctrl t to make it smaller mm, something like this and hit enter to confirm the selection now hide this layer temporary and we are gonna mask this part that already is in the image for so we can use the sky as a background common sense and i'm gonna go to select color range and select this white part and the fuzziness 68 works better i have already tried other numbers so hit ok and then i'm gonna apply this layer mask here and then select your layer mask and press ctrl i you can also invert the selection in the color range there is also an option but it's your personal choice and turn this back on and put this sky layer below this thing and as you can see here we have this really beautiful white lines that looks really ugly so I'm gonna select my layer the curl layer grab my brush make sure opacity is 100% and select white color and then I'm gonna paint here like a little bit so okay better and then I'm gonna make my sky like uh, here this is going to work pretty good and also we have to match the perspective so you can press ctrl T and after that right click and my piece is really slow so I'm sorry for that what you can do is also control alt and shift press those keys and then make it something like this so it can match the perspective of the original image and make it like also big so we can fill all the area this is gonna work better and hit enter so if you look at the layer mask it looks something like this and we also missed this part so I'm gonna grab a brush and paint white color in here mm, okay this is okay so we are done with the sky and let's move on to if you are thinking this is looking not that good you can take your time and mask I'm doing real fast for the tutorial so we are done with the sky let me turn this off all of this so we have masked out the sky as you can see here and after that uh, I added some hue and saturation so create a new layer hue and saturation and I added some saturation for to boost the colors in the sky and on the girl as you can see here and after that I have created a curves adjustment layer and for that good adjustment create a curves and boost this point a little bit maybe from here just to make it a little bit bright nothing else and after that go to reds and add a little bit of red not too much and in the blues mm, okay and after that go back into your document and create this beautiful lights this are really easy to like do and I have shown in my previous tutorial and here again I might change the place of sky a little bit here so it can go better but I will have to make it like real bigger I am not gonna edit this part just to make it shorter so you guys can know I also screw up sometimes and it's really okay to do this type of things it's always trial and error so this part works better and yeah we were at that creating those beautiful lights 
so select a brush tool and select a like really vivid orange color something like this which is a bit more red because it's an evening scene so select that and always make sure that your hardness is 0% and then create a dot and put this thing on color dodge so it can create really beautiful light lakes so sunset in just one single click ain't that awesome and I can make it a bit bigger and put it here now if it's too bright too dull or anything you can always go to image adjustment and select hue saturation and change everything as you want so I might make it a slight yellow not too much and you can also decrease the saturation to control its power so that's also a good thing also lightness and darkness the sliders are awesome for lighting and hit now I think it's too bright so I might make it a little small and make it back a slight yellow and hit ok so the first light lake is ok and then I'm gonna show you how to create this rim lights inside Photoshop as you can see here a super quick way I was just experimenting and I found this helpful way and I'm gonna show you how to do that so first of all press Control alt shift e it will create a JPG inside your Photoshop document as you can see here and after that go to select color range and select highlights and hit OK and after that um, what you can do is press Control J and delete this layer we don't need this anytime and it's a bit advanced stuff if you're a beginner <laughs> I'm sorry this can be really confusing so if you look at here we have all the highlights from the image and after that uh, make sure you have selected the same color which you used to make this light and after that control click on this layer so it will make selection of this and fill in the orange color you can use this bucket here or you can also like press alter backspace and then press control D so we have this color inside here and I'm gonna select eraser because I do not want this on the sky so I'm just gonna remove it from here and whenever you are doing color correction it's always better to use like really soft brush even if you are using eras eraser or normal brush or anything and once you are done with this uh, go to uh, blending options and select linear dodge add so it will create this really awesome like really amazing light lakes and you can do one thing go to filter blur and first of all let's press ctrl H so you can see better I'm gonna go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and this time I'm gonna use like maybe one pixel looks better and after that duplicate the same layer and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and this time I'm gonna use a way bigger number so we can have that glow see the difference it's awesome this trick is like really helpful to create dream lights so in just two steps look at the output it looks awesome and after that uh, I'm gonna use a color balance layer and in the color balance let's go and copy the numbers because we do not want to waste any time so go to first of all create a new layer and select color balance and in the midtones so the numbers are 16 2 and 13 so 16 2 and 13 and after that go to shadows and in the shadows 15 16 and 69 <laughs> okay so 15 16 and 69 looks better already you can leave it here your personal choice and after that go to highlights and we have minus 62 in the yellows so go to highlights and I'm gonna use minus 62 okay that's not even a number this is better so this looks fine the subtle look it gets and after that the super fake step that gives it a dramatic look but it's totally against the rule of lights and anything so I'm not following those one right now so let's go back and create those fake brightness on her body 
especially on the skin so select brightness contrast I'm gonna go back here and let's see the numbers plus 74 so I'm just gonna double click on it and use 74 so it's already super bright but select your mask and press ctrl I so it will hide everything then grab your brush tools select it's a white color and then paint on her face and on her skin take your time and paint it like with good patience and then decrease the opacity oh I missed this parts so I'm just gonna takes time you know and then add a little bit of brightness here maybe 59% is better so fake brightness and beauty in just one minute and select a where are you gradient okay actually basically did the same thing so that's kind of stupid don't do that thing and after that uh, make it reverse and radial and after that increase the scale mm, until you have this vignettes and hit ok and put this thing on soft light see now it's working better so you can make it smaller larger for the better effects so hit ok and after that uh, the final step which is color lookup so I'm gonna go back and select color lookup but screw that uh, I have a better option go to vibrance and add some vibrance and after that remove some of that from her skin so I'm just gonna paint with white color actually black and I'm just gonna remove it from here so it's working better as you can see here on this guitar and after that so this is the like dramatic one we have a bit more saturation and then the this low saturated thing and this is super easy to create just create a new adjustment layers and select curves and in the curves uh, increase these parts a bit after that go to reds and increase it from here a bit so you can get get like really low contrast image and also works better sometimes so this is that popular effect that everyone is demanding nowadays so use that one and for the realistic one what you can do is delete this curves layer we do not need that one delete this vibrance layer and definitely delete this brightness and contrast layer because if light is coming from here her skin would be not that much bright and after that create a new layer and select vibrance where are you and decrease it a bit maybe something like this and remove it from the sky only so first of all I'm gonna press ctrl I and then uh, paint white color so we remove the unnecessary colors only from the sky so it's like a better realistic version and this is the original one without the sky <laughs> so this is the original one and this is the one that we just created so I hope you learned something and if you have any questions ask me in the comments feel free to ask I always answer uh, and again here are some good tutorials check out and you can also subscribe to my channel for better updates so goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop